so <laughs> hello and welcome everyone to another mine colonies let's play with the developers episode my name is Raycoms and I'm one of the main developers of uh, mine colonies and I believe that one of the other maintainers is going to join in a little bit later as well um, we are playing again on a brand new version with even with a few features as we are going to release in a little bit as announced in discord but also with a few pending changes we are going to release in the new future and i'm pretty hyped about already as well um the delivery man error which delivery error are you talking about and high arbor as well uh, we arrived just at night, so let me get some sleep first. There we go. Um. Oh yes, that one will be in the news update. And some Eden joined me in too. Hi, Surf hey. Ninja. <laughs> I'm glad that you made it here. Um, I'm glad that you're uh, a fan of, or at least an initial user of Mine Colonies. Uh, hi, John. Um, I'm you running the Zeus shader pack with the Firewolf texture pack. Uh, Minecraft has come a very long way. Minecraft is one of the first mod I exhaustively played as well in in the chalkbox pa uh, pack in 1.2.5, and it's the mod that kind of had me stick to Minecraft as well. Oh yeah, that was already uh, that was already me <laughs> developing. Mine colonies. That's when I added the miner back then to mine colonies. Yeah, I we've noticed today as well. So we might we would have to check how it works, like in terms of lag on servers, etc. So that we might add it to the new pack too. But that would have to be something a little bit profiled yet, because I kind of fear it can cause a whole bunch of lag. Okay. Let me close ah, yes. oh, no, no, no. Better a few close. things. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if it's more like a single player mod that can lag quite a lot, but it's fairly neat to look at, or if it's actually a decent multiplayer mod too. Oh, I'm still in. I was flying around a little bit earlier. Almost was out of fulfilling requests here. No cheating. Okay. Um. Yeah, no cheating exactly. I'm hearing a Enderman around here. Um. I think... Oh, that one I saw. Die. Oops. <laughs> gotta be careful to not kill one of these delivery men running in between me and the Enderman. So, let me... I think I gotta close a few browser tabs as well. Those are running a bit full. Okay. Done. That should be better. Now let's check out what Jennifer is currently up to. What you're up to, Jenny? Um, she has no requests open, so she is probably still building. <laughs> she made four bread and ate two. 
Um, did you check if she continued working on later? Like if she maybe she used a bunch of them, but actually she's going to continue working for a few more hours, producing a bunch more of bread. Maybe I will have to look into that again. I already fixed a little bug with that, but I might have to fix a little bit more. We got the research I actually promised. Um, that includes for once in the plantation allowed to work at two at a time. And we also have... <laughs> We also have the miner update, like I promised. It doesn't burn the miner's feet. Let me just check where I hit that. Crusher. Yeah, here, the crushing. To actually not have the 2 to 1 offset, you can research here. Uh, where do we have the boots? Ah, here, hot boots. They need 32 leather and 16 iron ingot. But we already have too many in progress at the moment. So I'm going to wait for the others to finish. But that one here is going to give fire resistance to miners. So that's going to be fairly neat, I think, in the future. Because that is one, like, our miners is dying way too often. Um, I can check that out, but it should uh, be working fine. Maybe the style author... Um, which style are you using for your sugarcane farm that has that particular problem? Maybe the medieval oak has some... Um, set the wrong block under one of the farming locations just I think we have uh, we have currently Penelope set to cactus which is at the moment all on level 2 but I can't just quickly set that to sugarcane and we're going to see how she's going yes, to sir. recognize then the sugarcane there What's it gonna be today then? Um, in 1.12, we are mainly working on um, getting uh, like main big hot fixes out for crashes, etc. But the main things. Um, only come out for 115. Yeah, there is, I think it's still a cobblestone block next to a sand block underwater that is needed for the sugar cane. Yeah, I'll sand with cobble and water. Again? Maybe that is missing. Yes, yes my lord. Um, Penelope? I serve All with right then, pleasure. Penelope does not want to take care of the sugar cane at the moment. That's weird a little bit. We switch through a little bit more. Maybe I missed messed it up when I added the compatibility for the three blocks. Yeah, exactly. Those are the requirements. Maybe they are a little bit messed up. So I'm what are you doing there in your corner there? Going to set you now not to bamboo, but to sugar cane. What's it today then? Absolutely. Right but she away. is basically Don't insisting to stand head. around I'll here a little bit. We're going to walk around a little bit and then we're going to see if she actually mined all of those. I did already fire and rehire though. So I'm going to wait a little bit. Maybe she's just a little bit mad with me. Um, and the changes I made to support two different types might have messed 
<laughs> Might have messed a little bit with the logic. So that's something for my list to check out. Maybe the switching between two different crops is causing some issues. Now we got a bunch of new kids in the colony. So I can assign them to the barracks quickly too, to get some more training. Oops. There we go. That was a level five tower too. Got all five. What is it? Um Yeah, we can hire an other one here. We got five now too. Let me check that out. Um I think I can now start assigning people to the other barracks as well, since that one is now pretty full. So let me check that out quickly. Yeah, I definitely do stay. Like, that one is now full. People are training up highly. I just mean... Um, so I'm going to check that out quickly. So here we got four assigned to it already too okay here i got no one assigned and no free people at the moment okay so i do not have to worry at the moment yeah you can have as many barracks as you want there's no barracks restriction in mine colonies the only buildings that are restricted is our warehouse town hall and university basically and tavern uh, and the tavern, yes. Those you can only have one of them. And the warehouse requirement is one of the things we plan on removing in the future. And I'm here now fixing the stuff some add-ons messed up. Destroying my beautiful base. Incredible. Even what happened to the other sandstone? Do we have do I have some sandstone down here? Sand No more sandstone. <laughs> that would be terrible. Okay. So I can get one of those. Hi Inger Ten, how are you doing today? And that's glad, I'm glad for that too. Um, cut sandstone. That looks weird. Is that because of the light? Yes, that's because the light is up there. That was confusing me. <laughs> like a cat there, jumping to the ceiling. Trying to fix the light. Okay, um, I was able to fix Gwen, so Gwen is back working at the restaurant. I'll take care of it. What's it today, Van? And going to feed all these people. Oh. And like I said, Gwen never was a, a kid. Never. Hi, Hunter. Cool. How are you? You sent it back to the um, DC uh, bug room. Um, did you find the loot of the Viking ship too much? Or I, I think you're getting a lot of drops from the citizens. I think that's what you mean, right? Uh, from the raiders. Like 30 axes or something like that. Am I understanding it right, Inger? Um, running around a little bit aimlessly, but checking what things need an upgrade still. So that's a level four hut too, and uh, um, that is actually not right, mine colony's fault. 
Which mod was it that caused it again, some add-ins? Uh, cost what? Um, the excessive drops. Uh, silent key, I remember. So silent key, the mod. Silent gear. Silent so gear, the, the mod. Thingy. The tool mod, and it's like a tool enchantment that oh, causes these excessive you? drops. That's not on mine colonies. It's a normal loot table we use, and they just do I don't know how many extra runs, and they have. They had some bug where you uh, keep the luck even if you unequip the item. So even if you get an item. Somehow. We're going to continue okay. rolling the dice, so that's yeah, something. Yeah, I that... think each time you equip the item, also you got additional luck or something like that. And uh, when you re-equip the yeah. item, it also gets yeah, more. Yeah, it so... kept piling up and got more and more. So that's a bug you have to report to. But them. I think they already fixed it, so. Oh, apparently they fixed it in the newest then. Okay. And uh, this is the. L let's play with the developer servers where only um the developers are playing on um however we do have a patreon server that is um connected through the chat here so all the patreons are playing there on the other side <laughs> and are connected with our chat so that's a official server we are maintaining and as i announced in a few videos I we are also planning on a on another server where you'll be able to play together with us developers in the future. Um hi Minja. I'm glad that you guys are enjoying um our mod. Um, the reason we're playing here as well and trying to communicate with the community is because I think that's an important part of developing the mod. To like we have our general vision that we follow. However, it's always good to get some feedback on how the especially balance and game design things actually play out as well. Yeah, that's why often the shit can vote for some weight or so. <laughs> yeah. Um Raiders should not have enchanted gear. If they have, that was not us adding it. But I think it's a cool idea. <laughs> don't don't give stupid ideas to some add-ons. Rule number one: don't give him stupid ideas. Um. Um. Talking about um the Twitch stuff. Um, the emotes are already on Twitch, however it seems like they have to approve that first and that seems to be delaying the rollout of that. Like I already submitted them and they're still called as pending on Twitch. So you guys will have to have a little bit more patience until Twitch um, finally approves them and then you can start um running around with our new emotes <laughs> and the raider's gear is mostly diamond level if i recall correctly mm -hmm. Uh, maybe. I, I currently can't hear you. You just seem to be lagging. Really? Um. Yeah, John also heard that you were cyborging. <laughs> um. Yeah, we we got some PVP plans as well. Like, our main idea is until the end of this year to get some PvP, like, player player trading going, at least to some certain level, and Hylaxarian. And then, after that, the plan for next year is then to add a bunch of PvP features. 
Like when what I'm envisioning in general um, is to add some things related similar to the settlers two um, mode. So kind of you take guards with you and you take over other colonies towers and then you get what's within claim range of the tower basically so you kind of can take over parts of other players colonies so instead of it being destructive you actually start claiming other people's colonies partially and of course you have to stick around then so that the other player doesn't get it back <laughs> Or at least let your guards stay around. Yay, we can research the next thing. I gotta get some leather. Oh, it has kennels without bookcases? <laughs> yes, in that case we are going to add um, some sort of currency for the trading system. Exactly. At the moment, like, ah, uh, you made some chainmail armor, I see. Yeah. Um, at the moment, the um, invaders already scale oh. in health and, and armor. Even though they don't wear enchanted armor, they actually do scale. <coughs> leather. Oh, nice, 123. That's not so bad. You can request 32 leather here. Um, there we go. Let me wait for the delivery man to bring it in. Hi, Margo. How are you doing? Yeah, it's not cross-server currency. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That's the general idea we have. We are having Slavic, exactly. Um, oh, you also made a request. Yeah, I tried to make some at our builders, but they keep resetting all the time. And yes, the idea is actually to make it like that, like similar to those decoration markets, to actually have real markets and reset again. Yeah, that's something I'm definitely going to bother Orion about as soon as the build system yeah, is finished. Yeah, it's getting pretty annoying already. Since and we, got we don't have the biggest colony yet. Yeah, it's, since we have a bunch of buildings, they all have their data associated with them. But it's not so much that it should be causing issues already. So I'm definitely going to bother him about that. Oh, I left Discord already. Somehow Discord seems to be shutting down in streamer mode all the time for me. It's kind of weird. Okay. Hi, House of Doggos. How are you being? Um, mine colonies should be fairly compatible with most mods. Since we almost always try to make things as generic as possible. However, it does not always play out perfectly fine. Oh, we already got a raid. Northeast. It's not pirates. No, no it's not pirates. Uh, in 1.12, we are compatible with Tinker's Construct to the biggest extent. Do you have your banner? I do have my banner. Then I go sleep. Okay. Yeah, and it should be compatible with most food mods as, and these kinds of things as well. No. And it should not be very difficult to implement that, Iris. Um, the banner is a new item that's actually... Oh, the barons are there at the corner. Um, oh, I guess... I messed up the barbarian textures. <laughs> Good that, that I'm seeing that before releasing it. Ow. Stop it. Ow. Oh. 
Uh, yeah. Um, I think we don't even need the banner. I think we can just snipe them from up here. You know, if I do anything with the traveling salesman in my colonies, then I will allow adding it to the list of mobs that your guards can kill. <laughs> if there is anything I do with the traveling salesman in my colonies. I'm really no fan of the traveling. <laughs> are they all dead or are they all... Some are walking here, that's a war. Oops, failed. Um, but yes, we, the plan is add that yes. Like we have plans to add um, some type of salesman that appear and sell some rare kind of items or something like that. Yes, that is, that is definitely something that is planned, adding different merchants. Oh, nice. Did you see that? Yeah, uh, chief sword. Get the chief sword there. Need some health first, so I don't die jumping. I are you low on health? Was a bit, yeah. What is our guard doing out here? I guess he's stuck and not getting inside. Yeah, stuck. There's, there's currently no, no door or something like that from that part of the colony. So I guess yeah. they fell down somewhere on the other side. Um, a boss bar for raids is actually planned. Yes, that's something we definitely got planned. Didn't someone want to work on that? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Or do you have that on your mm, list? Sure. I wanted to do it, yes. <clears throat> yeah, we do need to build a gate on that side. That's why I didn't use yeah. the, the banner. Because that wouldn't be very useful without having a gate actually there. They wouldn't be able to, to come over. I think she works here, this one here. No. Kai works here. So which guard tower does that work belong to? Oh, good luck. <laughs> good luck, right? Good luck. Could be a lost uh, barracks guard too. Could be a barracks guard for all we know too, right? Yes. Ah, it's Paisley. I recalled her. Um... Waypoints work like intermediary points. So it's like if you want to path from, let's say, back there, the smeltery, to the other side of the colony, that would need a lot of resources to calculate. It's because it would surge in like that's like 200 blocks distance, so it would surge like in a 200 blocks range and would surge backwards, etc. too. And that's why we added something that adds like points. And they would then only path like 10 blocks forward and from then to the next one. And that is kind of like a hierarch hierarchical. Hi, hierarchical um, pathfinding and reduces the cost by a lot and allows you to kind of force them to stay a little bit on the paths. 
Um, in terms of having a way to see the remaining tr um, raiders, there is a spice feature in the barracks. I can show you guys that quickly. Oh yeah, let me double check on that too. There's the spies info. And if you have gold in here, which we don't have any gold left, it will um, render like a white box you can see through the buildings around the raiders. So it allows you to see the remaining raiders if you can see them. And yes, in terms of AI, the raiders do destroy um, walls, climb them, etc. If you do not kill them fast enough, they will break through the wall eventually if you're not fast enough and that way is the plantation what you've been up to Penelope she's not doing anything at all what you're up to Penelope oh, yes, sir right away sir okay Oops, let me see. Not on page one. No. Penelope X Godfrey, 34. She is doing planter tasks, apparently. She, I ah, know, she's, you can see she's working on the cactus. Did I? So she's still working on the cactus. I think I messed up something regarding switching tasks. Apparently she will always continue at the cactus now. Huh? So, so I'm going to have to debug that after the stream quickly. Maybe merge a little hotfix before uploading the thing. And yeah, we are still fixing the sounds a little bit some weird sounds slipped through a little bit oh yeah that that would probably be an option let me check that out but um the task system is actually set in the building so even i set the sugar enough, cane eh? fire and rehire if you say so yeah so the building setting of the task is is having a problem and i have a pretty good idea what it is <laughs> i have a pretty good idea what's causing this so that's going to be probably like a one minute fix after the vid after the stream so meanwhile i should have gotten this letter i wanted no that release uh, that should not block the release of today should not be a problem the release is going to happen today. <laughs> um, still not the remaining letter. I want letter. Yeah, that, that it's like I said, it's a one minute fix, so that should be do doable today. Um, John, are you going to add a tavern to the jungle style? <laughs> you got the builder of the jungle style right here in front of you. Um, again, yeah, the requests are kind of failing at the moment because we got a little back when the colony gets too big. The requests get cancelled frequently, which is something we definitely have to fix. Um, now I got it. Now I can upgrade the hot boots for our miner to avoid them getting killed in the mine shaft by fire at least. Um, not in the update, but already here in the version is um, workers avoiding fire a little bit better. And workers not having problems with here research started I 
So it's getting dark again. Du, du, du. Um, as always, if you're enjoying the stream, do not follow, forget to follow our stream. That helps our channel and you'll get regularly notified about the new updates and videos. Let me just drop off some of these things in the warehouse too. These iron swords are going to be useful for our guards. Uh -huh -huh. Some Edens is around too. So that's my sword. Um, yes, hoppers should are able to take stuff from all mine colonies blocks chests basically even including the racks oh that is fixed in the in the newest as well um, super minix the builder will request less as well and is going to get delivered less that was um, a little faux pas of mine And glad that you're having fun. That is the best reward for putting all the work into this. <coughs> having people enjoy it. Um. Ah, yes. We got here those treating each other. That's fine. A farmer is taking care of the things too. Uh, let's see our builders. They're a little bit slower today, it seems. They were so fast in the last videos, but I think they're having some bigger projects today. Yeah, the smeltery needs a lot of blocks. If you say so. Let's see, let's see what she's up to, actually. <laughs> yeah, leaves are free in mine colonies. It's the only mod that's free, basically. Let's see what Chenny is actually doing. Um, I thought a, a, a little bit about it already. However, it's not so easy to do. Adding um, more doctors. Because that needs a little, a few other tweaks as well in the code and is a little bit difficult to realize at times. Ouch, who shot? Lena. She's shooting at me. This is not nice. Not nice at all. I some Edens, you turned on. I know that you turned on <laughs> guards attacking me. You're too I would sneaky. never do, do that. Where is this? I ah, I was here. Fight guards. I ah, just turned it back off again just to <laughs> mess with me. <laughs> Flowers should not be free, actually. <laughs> I don't hope so. I'm a nice mayor. I follow the classical political rules. We already said that. Reactionary politics. And we say we care a lot, even though we don't care as much. Um, if you research something in creative mode, it's going to be researched almost instantly. You only need a researcher and wait a few seconds and it's going to finish the research. Uh, you can get grass for free too, yes. Higher, higher. We got another one. It's a level three only. Yes. Ah, it was already an upgrade. And the other one. Can I assign someone here? Also only level three. Okay. Yeah, our builders are creating all of the mat. 
Yes, you do need a researcher for always. Um, at the moment in survival, there's no way to upgrade that. And as many things you're saying are free at the moment, I will have to test that because cactus should not be free and flowers shouldn't be free either. Something went wrong there. Yes, they should ask for it actually. Um Okay, deliver men are doing f fine. I started our news research. And our citizens are growing up and we're out of jobs. <laughs> Do we have people assigned to the other buildings? The archery is still not built as well, which is a place I would want to assign a lot of people to. I don't even want the leads, I just want them out of my colony. <laughs> Hi Irish Jeff, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream. Um, not here. Do we have three researchers here? Yeah. Three, yes we do. I can upgrade that to the next level already too though. That's so many items. Oh lord. Upgrade. Uh, I have to assign Barnaby to this. Upgrade. Ah, we got the library up there. I completely forgot about that. <laughs> I was with it. It's like out of sight, out of mind. It's there on the mountain. I completely forgot about it. Yay! Yeah, enchanted bows are pretty powerful. Especially against raiders, bows is definitely the best idea. Because they deal a lot of damage. So if you can try to stay away from them physically, that definitely increases your survival chances. Guaranteed. Here! Oh, those two people, Alison and Rose, really have to study at university. <laughs> because they got level 4 and 2 intelligence only. How did you two go through school like this? Can you tell me that? <laughs> Level 2 and 4 intelligence. <laughs> Let me just double check if we still have paper in the warehouse or if that is all consumed or something. Paper. Yeah, we got another 184 paper. So those were just lazy students. I do still need stairs up to it, that's true. Let me just check if the worker now... Nah. Je Jennifer has some weird request. Who? Jennifer, but it just went poof. <laughs> I think it reset it. But I made a screenshot. Um, that is actually a new function. In in all buildings can i can show you this in the building here there is now this little chest item at the bottom and if you click on it it gives you a search option to check what is in the building um i think we should be fine we didn't don't have so many kids anymore how many kids do we have assigned to the school? No kids? Why? Did we set on... Ah, this... Ah, some add-ons. What? You try to hire Gwen with manual hiring in the school. 
Oh yeah. And you left manual hiring on, so none of our kids went to school. <laughs> and all of them got low intelligence now. Yeah, I set the school to man uh, automatic hiring now. So the oh, okay. future generations at least are going to be smarter. Okay. Um them de them. Oh that one is going up. What is that level three? So I can upgrade that to level five too. Yeah, to level four at least. Although we st we start having to need more more jobs for the citizens. My drawbridge is open. Did some add-ins leave my drawbridge open again? And probably the door is open too. No. Oh, talking about that. Oops. Um, was this a slab or what is this? It cut sandstone. I'm not sure. Because I just allowed um, this to get in water. Let's see if that works. Um, okay, I did destroy a little bit of the plank, uh, the thing, but where did the slab actually go? There it go, it went. Oops, okay. We can do this, so. I did, and I was blaming some addons. For sure he deserved it though. Don't you think? Always me. So now that should work. No. Can you sleep quickly? It's getting mm. dark. I can't see anything anymore. On to add torches? No, I can't. Thanks, that works. Ah, I placed a block here, didn't I? My derp. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Completely forget about it. I was running super funky experiments all day on the uh, university clusters. So my brain is a little bit mashed tonight. Talking about that. Did the next one finish? Yeah, it did. So I can copy over the results before I forget about it and start another one. There we go. Yes, the multi-block can go from any direction to any direction. So like 90, like you can see here in the UI, up and down. Like the plus and minus means up and down, and then all four cardinal directions. Oh, nice. Yes, there was a bug that, yeah, I caused that stopped the tile entity data to be um, copied over, which would also cause the. Uh, a lot of open doors here. Good that we don't have a pirate raid. Pirates are fun. However, you can do critical damage though too with a sword. That would be also around 20 damage, wouldn't it be? Um, yeah, the barracks are looking, uh, turning out fairly nicely. Barracks is one of these buildings that I think is one of the oldest styles that has not changed since the creation of it. I 
think the barracks, the wooden barracks, is how I initially designed it. Didn't change since then. Yeah, the builder is currently still finishing that tower here, I guess. Or isn't he? No, that was the other. And my Discord turned off again. Which one was it? No. Let me check which one was missing the ladder. Yeah, you can see the builder <laughs> working here right now and this one here that is missing the ladder. So that one will be fixed fairly soon probably too. Um, I can upgrade the other towers here too while I'm on it. Uh, this one here already has the upgrade scheduled. And this one here also. Um, good question. How far the builder can reach. Sometimes he might actually then need you to build um, a staircase upwards or something like that. If it's too far up. Um, I'm not entirely sure about that. I have I've never actually tested that. Um, having the builder... Why are all these cobblestones in the middle of the path? I kind of feel like Sam Adams is placing the... Ah, he replaced the uh, waypoints. Quite sure again. That makes sense. No. The um, highest level of the mm -hmm. barracks also restricts the highest level of the barracks tower. So you need a level 5 barracks for level 5 barracks tower. Yeah, Sam Adams was removing waypoints. Especially having the rails um, also has them path much more efficiently. Um, so we got another one here finished. It was in the civilian tree, as far as I remember. Um, first aid. I think it was this one here. And the barracks tower 4 was finished as well. Very nice. So we can check now. We can do the level 3 research already. On level 3. We can improve walking speed. I'm not... So that's not so important. But I'm just increasing this here with 12 books. Is probably definitely worth it. I got some books with uh, with me here. Um, and the civilian tree, increasing our leveling. Oh, what do I need for that? Library level three. Yet that we don't have yet. Um, another health bonus I could get. Um, school level 3 we have, so I make some oak bookshelves, plus 6 of it, wasn't it? 6 of it, 6, spruce bookshelf, great, that's exactly what I wanted, <laughs> derp. Um... Oh yeah, I got a lot of books from the Fortress Library. I'm fine for a while. Um, six. I need more oak wood. Do I have that in? No. I need to get some oak wood at the at the warehouse first. Let me run there. Yeah, one of the things I also have like some plans on working is around the builder positioning. But it is a little bit further down the road. There's not a huge priority. Um, who are you shooting at me? Um, I wanted oak. <laughs> Give me some oak. Hey! 
Fire is bad. <laughs> ah, he wants me to join Discord. <laughs> I forgot about it. I'm sorry. Oh. So, um, I'm back. I'm hey, back. I'm back. <laughs> No, um, at the moment there's no way to assign more than one builder to a task. That's not possible. And probably is not going to be possible in the future either. Because it would require a lot of things. And I think it would be fairly like brown and look very bad. Because imagine your builder is building like an entire wall on one side of the building up and on the other side of the building nothing. Or one builder is already placing decoration and the other one is placing water. Besides the obvious problems that can can happen and can cause problems. Are those bookshelf styles actually vanilla? I think there's a quark, aren't Ah, they're in Minecraft. Are they? No, a quark. It's because it's a quark bookshelf, it's not a vanilla bookshelf. That's why it's not recognizing it. Yeah, if you want it, if you find it way too slow, you can increase the block placement speed in the config as well. Although I'm work, like the block placement speed is fairly okay in my opinion. The only thing that needs some improvement in the future is actually, um, oh nice, is actually setting up some things to make the builder not walk back and forth all the time needlessly. <laughs> Since it is quirk, I can actually get those books back. There we go. Now I got my oak, now I can run there quickly. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hi, Feral Wolf. Welcome back to our stream today. We started a little bit earlier today instead of starting later as yesterday. But today I was better prepared. I, since I needed one hour to build the, the char yesterday, I started two hours before and I got things done and then had dinner and was fairly prepared. Um, need to craft them first though. Yeah, give me planks. Um, another three. Three. Now that's two. Derp. One, two, three. There we go. Civilian. And another teaching by 10% bonus. That is definitely a good thing to have. Um, I said it already, um, one of the things that is the next thing basically, literally, uh, the next thing on my list is actually fixing a few bugs this week and on the weekend, unless some major fix issues come up, um, I'm going to work on um, having the builder um, create something I call buckets. Like at the moment the problem is that the builder does not know what is going to come up in which order. So if the build is fairly small and everything fits in the inventory of the builder, that's okay. That's something the builder can deal with pretty quickly. The problem if it's of a lot of items, it's very difficult to say what kind of things he's going to need. Your general idea I had was to actually cut the things into buckets. So when he initially makes this list of items, it's going to already fill in buckets of the size of a subset of his inventory, like inventory minus five slots. And then he's always going to try to pick up only the next um, bucket of items he's going to need. So he, in the best case, only has to walk back and forth for each bucket. And then since we have then only a reduced amount of items that would have to be requested 
like it, at the moment it's bad because we can't request so many items like the entire inventory of items would um, get the delivery system to behave badly as well but if we have um, like a bucket of items that is not too many like an inventory of a worker full that's fine then we can request the entire bucket as well so that the entire system kind of depends on it and then if we have that your crafters are going to be much more useful too because they can work on the things while your builder is actually still working on the previous bucket um. That that would be possible, but it would need a lot of extra data in the schematic, and we want to avoid that, since the schematics have to be as small as possible. But it's no problem at all to do that during runtime. There's like a little bit of memory cost, and that's that's it, because we do already do the entire calculation to see which items are needed regularly. So it's no problem at all to actually just make buckets out of this. There we go. My parkour is not so bad today. I'm trying to chinx it though. Or can we do that one here? I can do it. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I am in down in the ravine again. That has been a while. Ouch. Did you fall down again? Me? Nah. <laughs> I think I'm... if I add a lemming weight type, I'll give it your skin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have a ravine emote, but Twitch still has to approve it though. <laughs> my FPS is... How much is my FPS? Where does it display, display this again? There's so, many, so much info. Yeah, it's not good. <laughs> Yeah, my FPS today is not very good. Let me relog quickly. Because that was not a problem usually. Usually the TP FPS was fairly okay. Is your memory maybe running full? Should not be. Since your Discord seems to die often as well. Yeah, that's true. Let me check that. Yeah, memory is fairly high already. <coughs> but that should actually not matter because Minecraft has a... Uh, we did add some memory leaks, uh, fixes, but those were related to waypoints actually. Yeah, those only happen if you actually render the waypoint schematic. Yeah. But yes, today my computer is a little bit quirky. It also froze two times because he thought that four IDEs and running Minecraft at the same time, trying to run a build and trying to run another build is too much. I definitely need some more money to <laughs> buy another 16 gigabytes of RAM. <laughs> I should probably update Optifine to the newest too. Mm. It didn't update Optifine for a while, so the newest might improve this a little bit too. Nah, the computer is fine. It's only because sometimes, it's like when you get a new computer, you start overdoing it because you think it can handle everything. And the other one grew up.
yeah he's still working only on the on those so I'm going to definitely check on that and our kids are in school learning again that is important too what did our builder actually start next as a project oh so I'm very late in Optifine I didn't update Optifine <laughs> since I started using shaders in the stream <laughs> which should give you an idea <sighs> how long it has been weekends again okay oh. she's waiting for spruce stairs do you Whoa, have spruce this with you fantastic what's next no i do yes sir but isn't uh the request missing the delivered what? delivered by i think i'm not strong enough thingy? no that what? means what? um you think I'm not it's to the enough? player Watch it means me. one is somewhere okay, and the others are started. supposed to be done by the player. There we go. Making some more. Shouldn't it say players and not warehouse? Mm, oops. Did she get it? Don't run away when I talk with you, lang what? young lady. You think I'm not strong enough? I think what? you're strong enough, but I think you're not paying attention when I talk to you. <laughs> Where is she? There. I love the smell there of fresh timber. <laughs> yeah, it's it's the more you have, the more you're going to use. Um, what does which currency do? I don't actually know. The one there redeemed highlighted the message? I don't know. I'm still new to Twitch. I don't know how the things work. <laughs> I'm just winging it. Um... Um, let me check if we have a guard assigned here still. Do we? Yes, we do. A liner. Uh -huh. And let's check out Barnaby too. How he's actually doing. Our favorite little builder. Oh, that I added myself. It's not part of the mod pack actually. Okay, barrack style 5 as well. Those are fairly quickly to do. Um, I'm on a super outdated version of Optifine, so... And our mod pack is a little bit up outdated as well. So... I'll have Wissy update that this week. And I'm going to update Optifine... Hopefully by tomorrow, if I don't forget about it too. I try to remember them, but I'm usually quite bad. Like, I remember that we have Barnaby working here. And our other builder is Jennifer. Uh, I know that our cook is Gwen. And that's basically it. <laughs> how, is, how is our miner? I know the last one well, was Alice, and that's now it's Thomas. But I usually try to remember their names. But then I can also suffer badly when they die. So in a raid I see someone died, I can then suffer like I suffered for poor Jessica and Felix and Isaiah <laughs> when they died, when they left our world. It was a vicious pirate raid. No. <laughs> you don't want a pirate raid, no? Weird. 
Yeah, if you if all of them have the same name, you got some brothers and sisters <laughs> doing things they're not supposed to do. Um, wasn't the double door thing something of quirk? I'm not sure. Was that something vanilla does? I could look into that to allow the opening of them. Yeah, it, uh, the citizen names are actually partially contributed by Patreons that can like a high enough tier can get their name added to the list, and the rest was added. A long time ago by a guy who researched a bit about medieval names, old names, and added them to the mod. Ah, but then it would be like, I would have to hook into what Quarks hooks into. And maybe they do some player specific stuff there that could be difficult to hook into without using the Quark API or something like that. And usually I try to avoid doing these things because after, especially since 116 is around the corner now, I'm going to avoid adding any 115 specific compatibility because all of this would have to be redone for 116 anyway. Nightbot. That seems interesting. I'm going to look into that. Thanks for the tip. <laughs> like I said, until now I'm just winging it. It's working. Um, you got the builder. We got a bunch of level five citizen out here. That's pretty neat. Yes, you can put your own name in your own config file too. That also works. Um, I guess we can upgrade the hospital soon to the next level. Oh, that is super cheap. I'm going to go with that. The level f next hospital level. I don't know. That is already level five. To no, level four. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit expensive. How is the farm, by the way? What level is that? Level five. That's not so expensive. Might be something to do in the future too. Um, and this it is not is still under upgrade. Yeah, the first name is random, the middle name is random, and the last name is the name of a random parent. Interestingly, <laughs> actually interestingly, um, this is only the fact if the citizen, it doesn't have to be the parent actually, it's because the system works like that. If you have a citizen, um, a male and a female citizen in a house living together, this means that they can reproduce. But it doesn't mean that they're going to be the um, parents that are going to take care of the children, child. Because for someone taking care of the child, um, there needs to be space in their citizen hut. So if, for example, there is a space only in another citizen hut, two random citizens in that hut are going to adopt the kid, kinda. And those are then going to be giving the name to the kid, not to the biological ones. Oops. Yeah, that's exactly how it works. And then you like always hire the citizens away into your guard tower and barracks 
so that all the time new Clements are going to show up. <laughs> Let's not overthink that, Margo. <laughs> Let's not overthink that. Um, good question, actually. Good question, actually. <laughs> gets a random name. Then it gets it's a random basically name. Basically, an orphan then. Um, the block of emerald in the warehouse upgrades the storage, but you should only do that on level five of the wares actually. Actually, it is only available as far as I know on level five, if I, don't, if I remember correctly. This is going fine, I have to say. Our kids are growing up. And we do need a bunch of other upgrades. Let me see how our how Jennifer is doing actually. Someone put some water around here. It looks neat actually. <laughs> yeah. If if that's happening in your tavern, that might be more an orphanage than a tavern then. Wow, they are growing up quickly. We need more places for them to work. Uh, you can fill our... and library. I did already. The library is full with two workers already. Remember those with level 2 and level 4 intelligence? Yeah. Oh, we do not have anyone in the combat academy. See? What do they have? Intelligence 8 and 10. So those went to school again. I good that we don't have a barkeeper yet in the tavern. So that would be a sad orphanage, definitely. But maybe realistic. Oh. I think medieval times, like... Um, it wasn't too uncommon that they were just living and they are helping out. Yeah, that kids were like orphans were kind of helping out in the tavern and paying for the living into some room under the stairs like Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. uh, we had some pr pretty neat idea with the tavern and barkeepers oh. for guards hanging out there. After a raid and these kinds of things. Yeah. Yeah, no, Child Dog we're not going to add. Although I'm thinking about adding um, a trainee program or something like that, actually. Orphanage building type. That's an idea as well. <laughs> oh, that's, that's actually a pretty neat, neat idea. To make the mead from the honey of the beekeeper. Um, Minecraft Shirley is working on that and has some halfway working code as far as I know. And hiring the third guard here. What is it? What can I do for you? And yes, you guys. Lord. What? Are all right. waiting. What's it today then? For I stuff I get. So. Yeah. Hey, it used to be normal, like, if you go into medieval times, it was not really child labor, it was kids learning what they need to, like, there was no school, so working was actually the most effect effective way to teach the kid useful skills for the future. So... Medieval time-based 
child labor is not something as evil like capital uh, the capital based one we have nowadays as well yes like one like i said one thing we have planned is an apprentice based system in the future where you can like kids go half of the day to the school and would have the day hang out at some work and at some job not do anything useful but follow around a worker as an apprentice maybe we could add in a few jobs actually some functionality to that yeah but in general it would be that but yes apprentices is, is the general idea i had okay those are needing shields i think all the shields are gone now Our warehouse has shields. Do you need my services today? Ah, okay, those are being delivered. Right. Didn't say that. <laughs> what can I, I do bring some. What is it? Oh no, that one has an AI error, actually. Do you need my services today? Really? Yeah. Never, never saw an AI error at the Combat Academy, to be fa fair. Oh, yeah. Did this Aurora? Yeah, we didn't change anything recently either. It's pretty weird, yes. I can help you with that. And the other one yes, too. Lord. Right away. That's we dated weird. to other card changes. Mm. Good question. I'm going to rehire him too. And I'm going to check out the log later after the video to see what was causing that. <laughs> yes, the idea would have them leveling up the skills of the main worker, actually. Um. <laughs> Definitely will have to check out the log of the server provider to see what is causing those AI exceptions actually this is some pretty big ones index out of bound exception I forget stack and slot stack and slot what? yeah it's inventory damage item in hand um, I, will... oh. I think they didn't have like I don't know what changed that should not happen but they were trying to do training together without having the weapons and we're getting index out of bonds with that yeah copy. I can do that in the minimap where can I do that mini no not waypoints um, settings minimap show where set do I turn off the names show entity names where show <laughs> ah here okay yeah that looks much better now <laughs> yeah that's much better true Thanks. That was a useful tip. Although I can't see the citizen icons anymore. So, oh, I always click on the wrong icon. Um, info, was it? Large icons, small dots, large dots, small icons, large icons. Only a few have icons. I did not set up icons for a few of the new citizens. Talking about that. I set it up once a long time ago. And I forgot about it. So maybe I'll have to look into that again. Uh, with the new textures updates. I'm going to have to get new icons as well probably. Right what when? Is that?
Let me see. Our builder is finally finishing the smeltery to level 4 here, I guess. Yeah, that seems pretty finished almost. We're checking the list. The builder set. Um, where's she? Jenny? There we go, yeah. It's basically only missing decorational items yet. So we're getting really close to finishing that one. Hey, maybe we can add rum. And pirates are going then to have a focus to steal all your rum in the colony. And they're going to leave when they got all your rum. <laughs> we can use it as currency. I could use it as currency. That was act that is also actually something real really realistic because in many regions in the world alcohol has been used for extended periods of time as a currency actually. Yeah. <laughs> I really love seeing like the guards in teams of four sliding <laughs> down the rails. <laughs> 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 it looks so funny. Yeah, the uh, and I'm not sure yet about the brewery. It's it's not very high on my list. It's more like an optional thing. I got another five jobs that are on my list actually, and then all the other workers are going to be optional things that are not um, necessary for the main vision. But um, something need to have, definitely. <laughs> I think it... Uh, Hi, Captain Sold. Yes, you're a bit late today. Um, yes, the alchemist um, is on that list, for example, definitely. Similarly is uh, a hunter... A beekeeper someone is making already. I think it's a bit more than five. I think it's more like seven. There was a raid already. You missed the raid. It was boring though. No one died. Only the raiders. <laughs> and the barbarian textures are worked. I will look, have to look into those. Oh, I do know why they are bored. Because I deleted them. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's because they were not in the in the raider folder. They wasn't. They were in the default folder, and I deleted the default folder today for some texture updates. Now that I thought about it, I know why they're borked. I'm going to fix those. But those are not um, a problem for the update I'm going to make to do today. They're going to be a problem for the coming update only. Um, that's one of the really neat things about Git. Everything that was once pushed to Git is in a backup. <laughs> like on the yeah. main branch, at least. You only get problems if you try to store uh, larger files that way. Yeah. But everything we stored once uh, on the server on Git on GitHub is going to be there on the main branch. That's also how we roll back changes with the schematics, for example, when we find out that some scans we made in the in the recent times have issues, we can roll back to any time in the history. This is fairly nice. Yeah. Yeah, software development without version control is not a good idea, definitely. <laughs> Like even the private projects I do, like I'm doing my university project with the tests. I push every, like I do some changes and I push everything to Git every few hours. So that if, if I want to roll back to some previous version where something was still working or I want to see how I was doing it earlier, I can always do some rollback and see how that is doing. Um, ah, Captain, I said it earlier already, but since a bunch of new people are here as well, I'm still waiting for Twitch to update. You placed an oak fence here in the middle of the nowhere. 
Am I still waiting for Twitch to fix the... Uh, not, not to fix, to approve the emotes. So we are waiting for that to happen. To get the new emotes going in my colony in the Twitch chat for all subscribers. I do hope that Twitch gets their yes, my lord. Um, shit together by tomorrow. Okay, those are almost finished. Very nice. Yes, and I promised tonight after the stream I'm going to upload a new one. I almost got everything ready already. Yeah, they probably do have like a manual process for that to make sure that they're in no, nothing racist or naughty or something like that in it. Um, yes, I did pop um, Captain if you're not. You should be on Discord where I pinged everyone. Um, about the new updates like everyone who is wondering about the change log can either do it the difficult way on github or do it the easy way on discord.mindcolonies.com in our announcement channel um, let me see how our research is going when I can start the next one already here we go where we have Logan, our researcher, and the other one is so fast, Ryan, uh, running around. We do have a stream watcher role as well, which you can join with join stream watcher. I'm pretty sure it's like that. And then you're going to get pinged always. We have that in our Discord. Um, let me see, we got one going here. And we have others in progress still. Um, one combat. This one we just started. And the minor thing here in civilian. That one is going to need a while still. Discord.mindcolonies.com, uh, yes. Um, and as far as I heard, the build system is coming along. <laughs> Ryan got the database set up today, but was not able to, to ping it because it was spawning in a Docker container. But I, is, I think he should have fixed that by now. So I'm very positive that this year the build system is going to be online yet. Big goals for 2020. We got big goals for 2020. <laughs> Didn't the builder start already with the archery? I thought at some point Barnaby had started already the archery. No, Barnaby is making towers and not getting the stuff he needs. Ah, so you stopped him from making the <laughs> archery and assigned no. him to... No, I just started towers and he is making them. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's like going wild on those barracks towers. Yeah, there's a bot channel and there you can just execute the join stream watcher role. Oh yeah, I I actually had some general plans regarding that. Like I want our villagers to be able to use something like multi-block gates um, and walls and these kinds of things. But that is fairly difficult to code. That's why I didn't do it yet. Raid. It's a desert raid. Still no pirates. We're lucky lately. No pirates. <laughs> But this time I can use the rallying banner. And my favorite music is starting again. What happens if you use the rallying banner and I turn on gas attacking? 
if um, <laughs> what would happen is um, a race wearing madly um, not appropriate uh, appropriate things in the stream <laughs> Come guards. You have rallied. Twenty-one guards are answering your call. Oh they're walking! They're coming! Ah Dying. Okay, I made it. I made it. I can do this. I can't do this. Too many. Ah. I can do this. I can do this. Yes, take him. Take him. You can do this, Callum. Count us work. Thanks. That helped. Uh, yes. Ow, that hurt. Stop it. Okay. I guess we're stable now. Oh, one died. I think more than one died. One, two died. Yeah. But it was fairly neat. Three. Four raiders are left. Are some entered our colony, maybe? No, and that's still with our guards mainly only having Wait, some no. chain mail chests. Wait, no. Don't do that. Okay, three left. That turtle here is hanging around for a long time in our colony. Yeah, I know. <laughs> By the way, I um, opened our drawbridge so our gas could get through our chain. Um, another ranger died, I think, in our colony, didn't they? Yeah, must be some raid. I think the one raider probably got through the open door. In the uh, colony. Yes. What is this? 139. Yeah, that's in the colony somewhere. 94. The other direction. You're dismissed. But we got a raider running rogue in our colony. Can't support that. Mmm, what lovely weather today. One thirty nine. 126 uh, Where is that mummy? Can you see it? No <laughs> It's coming for Barnaby now <laughs> <laughs> Don't say this, don't jinx it You <laughs> said it already there are things you're not allowed to choke about. Certain things you don't choke about. Where is that mummy? Say what? Minus 86? That's 68. That mummy, mummy is stealth, man. <laughs> Minus. Okay. Now they got killed. But that mummy took out like two, three other raiders. I think that was a pharaoh yeah. going crazy in our colony here. 
No mummy uh, is no power. Okay, now the end music is playing too. We've defeated them. Yeah, yeah, don't jinx it. Barnaby is safe. Barnaby and Jennifer are safe. Hey. Those are the two important ones. Now it's not slash join. It is um, exclamation point join. Let me dump this stuff here. Now we have to hire guards again. Yeah, now we have some free spots. Yeah, I was like I downloaded the world to test some things and I was testing a little bit around the gar archers and they're like really really useless. And yeah, the knights are pretty good at it. In terms of standing on a tower and shooting. Like I had an archer yeah, standing good. on the wall and he was like basically useless there. And I was like, hmm, that is kind of bothering me. So Reynold, how did you fall into the water? Tell me. So I think that is definitely something we have to work on. So here's Gwen working too. Another Gwen. Let me say where Reynold is working. Probably the other guard tower. That's the only ones that are supposed to walk around here. I oh, know the tower is down here. Reynold, here we go. There you back. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um it is probably useful for us to make a few more iron um armor parts probably. Yeah, we have no iron. <laughs> Are we out of iron again? Of course. <laughs> I got 22 in my inventory, but I think I'm going to keep them. Yeah, I got three. <laughs> oh, and the warehouse and got I, none. I think so. Let me check. Um, yeah, we got some more plans for the mine or two. Like the Our mine warehouse thing. has one block of iron. Oh yeah, at least something. Like the general um, idea of the miner to make it more efficient and more aligned with the other workers is being able to um, hire one miner per Y level. That would probably make the miner more competitive as well. Something we're going to add in the future. Something you would research about as well. Yeah, I did ping at updates, so those you are automatically joined. Yes, you can also join at update, but that one is you should be in if you don't opt out. It's because she um, stream watchers is opt in, and at updates is opt out. And mine levels, and then like probably cap it at hot levels as well. Like maximum five um, and one <sighs> per mine level then. Yeah, but for iron they're still useful, right? Even the first levels should be fine for iron. Um... <laughs> Captain Sword is confused. Oh, you need some beds? Or do I have some? I'm going to make you some beds. Oh. Yes, yeah, on a oh, hill, then not so much, something. yes. Then you would have to upgrade your mine to level 2 or 3 to have him dig low enough for that. But the general idea is that you have to wait for the miner to reach the lowest level anyway, and then only you can assign others. <coughs> To do the horizontal work too. What did I want? I uh, needed some wool. 
which I think was around here. Yes. And then I can make a bunch of beds for Barnaby. No, it's the Fletcher that makes beds, actually. Oh, eight is too much. The seven was fine. Yes, there we go. Oh, don't tell me. He wanted red bands, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We do have them in our warehouse. Give you then seven of those. We don't have Poppy. I do have some red dye in our... We done in our warehouse. You just need to find some. Now I know I have some a lot of red... Um, die here in my storage. A uh, red bed can always be dyed, as far as I remember. Uh, white beds can always be dyed. Only the other beds cannot be dyed further. Like once you dye the bed, it's too late. Um, that's a bit tedious. Clicking through them. Yes, we do need a florist. That's true. Let me get that going. I need to sleep too. Yeah, the florist is a great poppy factory. <laughs> and the florist creates just random flowers from compost. And since we have a compost worker now, we can have a florist to create random flowers. Yes. Depending on the building level from a different set of flowers. A white bed you can die. You can't die the other beds. And our archer died again. Somewhere. Um, here we go. Now that should make Barnaby happy, shouldn't it? Yep, it should. Oh, um, <laughs> dum -de -dum -dum. Yeah, the, the florist did create some gold blocks uh, occasionally because that was the placeholder block. That one got fixed. <laughs> Learned something new about Minecraft in the stream today, too. That was a good day, wasn't it? Okay. Dum de dum. Yes, as far as I know, there is some kind of vanilla things now to remove color of stuff as well. Oh god, I just almost made in my pants because I thought it was a zombie baby running at me, but it was just Emmy. <laughs> Smeltery is done. Nice. Starting with the shepherd now. Wait, the shepherd is not supposed to upgrade. Who clicked upgrade on the shepherd? Mm, I did some while ago. Ah. Why not? Because it overlaps with the delivery man. Uh, the delivery man doesn't need a space, who needs a delivery man? It would just look ugly. But we'll get more sheep then for more wool. What is the, yeah, the construction table is all over the place. We need the reposition update for that. Oh, you said you placed some waypoints? I see. Yeah, baby, zombies are like the worst mob in Minecraft. It's the only one I'm actually afraid of. It's trying to. Did you ever see an invoker? No, why? Ah, uh, those are much worse mobs. 
Oh yeah, invokers. Ah, I know I got what you meant. Yes, invokers are pretty horrible. So sorcerer, yeah. which spawn the flying mini mobs, yeah, yeah. which can go through walls. <laughs> Those actually are in vanilla raids on Hi. on the, the villages. That can happen. Yeah. Oh well. So, um, our stream is coming to an end again. We're streaming for almost two hours now. So it's time to go to bed for me. I actually want... Wow. Is it late? Um, thanks everyone for tuning in. Do not forget to follow our channel if you enjoyed it. And follow it anyway, even if you didn't enjoy it. It helps our project. Um, join our Discord if you have any questions. You can also support our project by becoming Patreon helping us out with textures or code changes um, I'm going to push out the little update now after the stream and I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Ciao ciao everyone. The next stream I mean. <laughs>